In this English lesson, I want to teach you six idioms that you can use in daily conversation. Idioms are a great way to show that you have a mastery of the language and that you are comfortable speaking English in casual situations. It's also important to know idioms to understand what native speakers are talking about when they use them. Now, the first idiom for today is the apple of my eye. Now, the apple of my eye is used to describe what is your favorite of something, usually referring to people. So you might say, I have three cousins, but Sarah is the apple of my eye. That means she is my favorite cousin. It can also be used to describe somebody who you have a crush on, somebody who you like romantically. So you could say, um, the girl who sits beside me in my science class is the apple of my eye. It means that you like her. The next idiom is called getting cold feet. This simply means that you feel nervous before doing something. It's probably most often used before a wedding. Before somebody gets married, they might get cold feet. This means that they feel very nervous and there's a chance that they might cancel the wedding if they have cold feet. But you could also use it for other situations. For example, if you have to do a big presentation at work, you could say, you know what, I'm getting cold feet because I have a big presentation coming up later today. So the next idiom is the light at the end of a tunnel. This is used to describe the hope that we can feel even if we are in a dark or bad situation. So it means that something difficult is almost finished. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. You can use this um, if you're in the middle of a very hard job. For example, imagine you are writing a book. That's very hard to write a book. But you could say, I've been working on this book for over a year, but now I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. That means you are almost finished your book. The next one is take the plunge. So plunge is kind of similar to jump, to jump into something. So if you want to take the plunge, that means to decide to start doing something that is hard or difficult and to not give up. So going back to the book example, imagine if you want to write a book, you could say, well, I've always wanted to be an author, so I better take the plunge and start writing. It's going to be difficult to write the book. That's why we say, I'm going to take the plunge. The next idiom is get in someone's good books. Get in someone's good books means that you are trying to get somebody to like you. Um, usually not romantically, just in a professional way or as a friend. So you could say about your boss at work, I better work really hard and show up early so that I can get in her good books. And the last idiom for today is in black and white. This is used when you want to get an agreement or a contract written on paper so that you and the other party can sign and have a written agreement. So you want to get something in black and white. So you could say, please send me an email summarizing all of the rules so that I can have something in black and white. Oftentimes a verbal agreement is not enough. So you would really like to get something on paper in black and white. Let's review those idioms really quickly. The apple of my eye, that means that somebody or something is your favorite. Getting cold feet, which means to feel nervous before doing something. The light at the end of the tunnel, that means that you can see 
the end of a difficult situation. Take the plunge, meaning to start doing something that's hard or difficult and not give up. Get in someone's good books. This means to try to get someone to like you. In black and white. This means to get an agreement or contract on paper. You want to get something in black and white. Which of those idioms were your favorite? Do you think you could use them in your daily life? Why don't you give it a shot? If you use one of these idioms within the next week, come back to the video and comment and let me know. All right. Thank you for watching about these idioms. Uh, good luck.